Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome back to my channel. And look who we have here. This is my granddaughter, Clem, and uh, she and I are going on an adventure tomorrow. And this is where she sleeps in Nina's van, right? So we have a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan and we van camp as everyone knows. And we love it, don't we, Clem? We do. All right, so basically, as you can see here, my passenger seat folds completely flat. Now, of course, there's a little bit of unevenness with the backrest of the seat and the seat, so we have to kind of fix that up. So under here, we have two camping pillows. Those camping pillows take up the space and rise the seat up to the backrest here. Then we have an afghan doubled up, we have a quilt tripled, her pillow, and then we have Clem. So how comfortable is it, Clem? really comfortable okay so she fits on here perfectly and it's a great fit for her now as you can see i sleep over here and the both of us in this van are very very comfortable now let's talk about how we have the van when we're in drive mode so obviously the seat isn't lying flat down and my refrigerator back there as you know sits right behind the front seat but when we're parked for the night and we're sleeping, we take the refrigerator and put it on top of the camping kitchen in the back there. We leave her car seat up and everything works out perfectly. We have just enough space, everything we need, right Clem? Right. Now this is the first time I've actually done it this way. I don't know why I didn't do it this way the first time around. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but I wasn't, I guess. Um, what I did before was, is I took her, uh, seat here her car seat and I put it in the front seat and then I took the refrigerator that was sitting here and I put it on this seat here and, and I had a bin elevating it but now that I have a thicker mattress even if I put a bin on it to elevate it and I did it like that the mattress would encroach on the plug and that's not safe that's not a good idea so I thought what the world why didn't I do this to begin with so anyhow, as you can tell, we have a ton of room in here and we're so excited. As you can see also, I brought my four foot table over there. That's so when we're at our campground, we can bring everything out because you know I don't cook in the, in the van. But we have enough room to use the toilet if we need it, but we are gonna be at a campground, so we most likely will use the campground's toilet and yeah, we're all good. Anything you wanna say, Clem? It's gonna be really fun and we're going with my friends. Yes, we're going with our friends, I forgot, Susie. My friend Susie's coming and her two little boys and she's gonna meet us there and she's a van camper too, isn't she? Yes, she has two little boys, Ben and Toby, and they're Clem's buddies and we all go van camping together and this time we're going to an amusement park and then we're gonna hang out at the campground. It's gonna be a great few days. All right, well, this is it. This is how we do it and it's very doable. So anyone who has a little kid, maybe one, maybe the second one could lay down there. I don't know, but hey, this is a doable thing, isn't it, Clem? Yeah, it works out. She actually wants to sleep in here tonight before we go. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe we will. But anyhow, this is how we do it. This is how Clem and I van camp when we are on the road. All right, you guys, we will catch you tomorrow morning. We'll give one more tour with everything packed in here. I still have to get a few things in here and uh, we'll see you then. All right, until next time.